calling from another mother? Yes, sir. Yes, hey, sir. man, it, doing, it is not fair that all my brothers from other mothers got hair and I'm bald-headed. What's up with that, man? That is not cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You got me on lot. You got me on. I hear me on that too. You guys going double time. <laughs> you might want to turn it down a little bit, man, because I can hear this thing. You got me going double time. Still there? Yeah, I'm here now, man. I had to turn it down, man. But listen, man, just wanted to give a shout out, man. Always, always love to see what Team Jesus got on the plan, man. Always want to be a part of it. Man, you know the, you know how we do, man. You know we're gonna find some way to lift up Jesus. I don't care where they, where they put us at, how they, how they push us aside. We're gonna find some way to lift him up, like we used to do back in the day. In between, go to the church. We go lift weights, and then we go to the church and do some music. <laughs> we was yeah, ironically enough, man. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, I'm uh, you still playing? Actually lifted, uh, Lifting a, a, a new project myself, man, with for young people doing like a summer track club this summer. Okay. Uh, really promoting, promoting, you know, obviously God first, and, and as well as health and fitness. Really trying to get young people that want to be involved with not just the the, the movement of track, but uh, getting young people. That actually doing a three phase three phase project where phase one we we deal with just the track athletes. Um, and then phase two, we deal with athletes like football players and basketball players that are preparing themselves over the summertime to get ready for um, their particular act athletics, whether it be football, basketball. And then phase three is going to be the part where we deal with the athlete that, that kind of like the couch potato, you know, <laughs> don't, doesn't do a lot with themselves normally, but, you know, maybe maybe the rigors of track are normally too, too aggressive for them, but we're going to have a phase for them too, man. It's called uh, Central, uh, Central City Champions. Cool. I knew, I knew, I knew when you didn't get to the NFL that you was gonna use all that energy and all that Super Bowl strength and all that stuff you had in me to bless the people. I knew, I knew when God didn't allow you to go that avenue that you was gonna do something. You wouldn't well, just yeah, man. I, I I tell you, man, it's really been a blessing. Um, you know, last year one of the guys that I trained, who's actually become one of my very best friends, Dominic Hickson, as you know, um, he was able to. Uh, to, to, to get a, a Super Bowl ring last year with the Giants, and then you got one a few years prior to that with the, with the New York Giants. Um, and his, his ministry, man, as a result of what we do out there, you know, that brother was uh, uh, sitting in the mall this summer, man, just sitting in the mall, and he met another brother who kind of was kind of speaking to him about it. This was in Carolina, uh, speaking to him about the word, and he said he had visions of some of the conversations that he and I have had and that brother, man, met this dude on a humbug. The dude said, man, you want to get baptized? He said, yeah, man, I took that dude, man. They went in in a hotel lobby. That dude got baptized and, and gave his life over to Jesus. But Amen. the Bible says one one planet, another one waters, and this guy to get an increase, man. It's just amazing how God uh, takes form, man, if you just continue to be faithful and steadfast in what you do and what you believe in. Yeah, uh, the, the fruits of your labors will always come to fruition, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And also, you we were talking on Facebook for a second. Yeah, Devin got a Devin Jr. now, so <laughs> he got an added motivation yeah, to put his butt in gear and do what he got to do because he on the clock right now. <laughs> well, you know, the, the, the thing with Devin is, um, and, and just like with you and with me and so many other other ones, we it's a continual process with a young person, especially when. Um, they know who Jesus is, and they've got a relationship with Christ. And and, and every now and again, it takes uh, a situation that God. The, the the one thing I'm realizing is God doesn't doesn't disallow things. He actually allows these things. Right. And the adversary has to go and get permission for these things to happen. And then the ultimate blessing is in the long term progress that you make from a small setback. I'm going to say that again. The ultimate blessing is the long-term progress you make from a small setback. So um, the bringing in of a new child, man, is always a blessing no matter what the devil meant to do with it. And, and watch how he matures through this. And then God is going to use his ministry. Um, and, and, and his platform is going to be greater than all of ours. And so he yes, just sir. has to be, we have to continually just lift him up to prayer, continue to pray that his eyes stay open and stay focused on the task at hand. Don't let this minor step back be a major step back, but allow it to be a, a platform as he continues to press and, and move forward in his ministry, man. I got, I, I, I know God has got nothing but greatness on that dude, man, and, and we just going to keep believing it. 
we just going to keep praying it, and we're going to watch it manifest through him. I know you believe it because unlike a lot of people, and I ain't put nobody on blast, this brother was working one day, and at Devin's graduation, he, he left his job, pulled on a trailer full of bouncies, and came all the way down to the graduation just to sow a seed. At, and he just, God fixed it to where the brother was coming out. You know, we was on the phone, of course, talking, but he's, it's, God fixed it right when he was coming out of the graduation at the Veterans Memorial, walking out. He pulled up and got the pool in the front just to do that and for people to, to go outside their comfort zone to make time to, to show love. And I'm talking about financial love. He ain't just come to shake his hand or give him a hug. He gave him some money. And that's my child, you know what I'm saying? He ain't have to do that. We ain't not even blood relatives. We're through the blood of Christ. But, you know, I, I believe in that kind of love. That's the way I get down. I like to surround myself with people like that. Because when you bring that kind of power together, can't nothing move but God. You know, you move God's heart when you go out of your comfort zone to bless people and do stuff you do not have to do. And uh, he just showed me continuously from the time I've met him to, to right now, his heart for God first and foremost, his heart for family, and then his heart for people, his love for people. And you always been a, a 100, brother, and I ain't... Some people, you say that, and you're like, uh, you got that kind of butt in the back of your head. But with you, it's always been 100%, and I appreciate that. Because you don't have to do it. Every day we get up, we got a choice to make. And you do it every day. And I want to take this opportunity live while it's being recorded, live and live for playback, to just uh, show my appreciation and true, uh, true love for you. It's very few brothers. It's sad to say, I can only say that for about probably a handful of people, probably about five or six people, who if I call right now and say, man, I really need you, that, that will really show up. And that's sad to say. But that's just the way it is, and they all eagles, you know what I'm saying? God got some eagles out there amongst all these chickens we run around with sometimes because we're trying to bring them up. We ain't trying to hold nobody back. We're trying to be, bring them up by the example of Jesus Christ within us. Hey, you still playing at the temple? You still you still hitting them keys? Yeah, so um, I'm still playing. Uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually playing at two churches, believe it or not, man. Um, yeah, God, God has been good to me. Uh, I've been to three churches and I'm still playing. Um, I can I I am not a musician. I'm a guy that plays the keyboard, um, and I say that very proudly, very loosely. I know that I'm not the most talented cat in America, but I'll tell you, God has really, really uh, have found a way to open up streams and, and has blessed my fingers and blessed my voice in such a way that I've been able to be a blessing to not only the temple now, so now I'm playing at a uh, 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 Pastor Jerome DeCarlo's church, uh, uh, Glory Evangelistic Ministries, and. Uh, and uh, so, man, I'm doing two ser services on Sundays. I do uh, the praise and worship and uh, choir songs at AST, and then I leave there and I do uh, worship, uh, uh, choir songs, and then benediction at uh, uh, Glory Evangelistic Ministry, uh, Pastor Carlos. So, uh, man, I'm doing that every Sunday. Uh, it's a little stressful. I'm dragging my kids around and, and, and family around on Sundays because my wife works on Sundays now, unfortunately. Um, so, but uh, my kids like it, um, and, and really, man, we're just, it's about service, man, and you know, I know you gotta, you gotta give to get, and although we don't, we don't do what we do to get, but we understand the promises of God, so our guests and amen, so we, we do what we do, and we do what we do in honor of the Creator, man, and we understand that, uh, it is a calling <laughs> on our lives, and necessarily, not necessarily something, we want to do everything. every Sunday, <laughs> and you know, I got rehearsals on Saturday, two rehearsals on Saturday, and then I've got Junior choir churches have uh, 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 junior choirs at both churches. So it's been a, it's been a pass, bro. But I'm, you know, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. You know what? I'm not laughing because, he, man, if people knew where we came from and who we, man, the church had probably at least. It was, this is no exaggeration. It was at least probably about five, six drummers ahead of me. It was a probably at least five or six keyboard players or organ players ahead of. You. We was in the back goofing off like athletes. Me and this brother was like, we, <laughs> we were athletes. He was trying to get to the pros. I'm trying to get anywhere, boxing, football. We just, you know, coming to church, trying to stay saved, keep the, keep the chicks at bay, you know what I'm saying? We just do, we just some 100 dudes looking, trying to encourage you. Like, hey, man, you better leave that girl alone. Well, we just, it, it, we in the back. I mean, you talk about the back crevice of the shadows of the church. <laughs> and how this brother got moved all the way from the back of the shadows of the church all the way to the front through all them keyboard players and organ players. and I mean, folks wanted to play for AFT. That was the church you wanted to play for back in the day because mm -hmm. people got taken care of. They got compensated. It was a nice crowd. Joy night, Friday night was a place to be. I mean, just to see you be there. And I don't care what the state of the church is. That ain't going to do with nothing. We talking about God. How God will take somebody who's been faithful just by... If we went, we ain't nowhere near perfect. He'll say it now. <laughs> I pray for him. He prayed for me like like Hezekiah's song. I pray for you. 
man, good Lord. I say, hey, man, what's up going on? Something, something ain't right, you know what I'm saying? And not only that, that's why I'm so excited. I got this CD hopefully coming out this year. Me and his brother, we, he wrote the song, and he's allowed me to put it on my CD. Um, I just know it's just amazing how God will use folks and people that ain't got no business in the worldly standards being used for his glory. That is just so awesome. And that's why I love it. <laughs> I know. I, it's, I, been a, it's, it's been so crazy. Just, uh, um, I was talking to a, a, a good friend of mine maybe a few weeks ago, and they, they were just you know, wondering what I was still playing because it was a small stint, and I was uh, not playing at ART, but I was playing at um, uh, Bishop Siegel and Bishop's Church. And, uh, and, and, I, and then I went after I was stopped playing at Bishop Siegel and Bishop's Church. I kind of went on a hiatus, man. And uh, a brother told me, he was like, man, you know, you gotta, you gotta get back in and start. I, actually, it, it, it was first talk, spoken to me over my head again by my mother, and then the brother came back and kind of confirmed it. And he said, man, you gotta get back into the ministry. And you know, I wasn't like I was separating myself from the church. You know, I was still, you know, still, you know, brother still trying to walk the step, walk of salvation, still treating his family still good, still going to church every day. But you know, it was just something about dedicating yourself to the ministry and you know folks always want to treat you a certain kind of way and you know then you got to deal with all the adversary all this adversary attacks when you get into the <laughs> you know about that music ministry where you know the attacks are seem to be a little bit more aggressive in that music ministry especially uh you know when you got a new wife and things like that but at long story short man um everything you said is accurate man and i, I just i just continue to just at, at all times, being all of what God has done, done and what is doing, the people that He puts in my life to, to, to for advancement, um, you know, going as soon as you think you can go through, you're going through a, a financial uh, a peak, and all of a sudden the adversary comes in, takes you to some financial valley, <laughs> and and, you, and 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 then you understand again where your where your help comes from, so you begin to stop leaning on what you think. And leaning on what he does and what he is and who he is, and because of that progression and because of that faith and because of those beliefs, man, I really believe that I'm in a place right now, peace and harmony. My family's in a good place. Um, they making a whole bunch of money, but the bills are paid. <laughs> it's still good, man. You know? the, the lights on. You look. You hit the switch and the lights. Hey, praise God! Every time the lights come on, man. That's why I love. I love real people, and you know, and I believe that I don't care. We, you can think of even Kirk Franklin, the number one artist probably in gospel music, most selling artist in gospel music, possibly, probably. I don't know. I ain't checked the stats lately, but God don't, don't have no big use and little little us, you know what I'm saying? That's why I love the fact that we serve a God who's not a respecter of persons, and I believe they go through stuff. That's why we can pray for them cats. No matter, we may see them on TV, dancing, and all this stuff. We Like you just said, people, I, it's Levites, period, but there's different parts of the Levitical office that just go through just certain things because of that particular office, and and I know, and we've seen it happen to the other ones. And I, 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 I for one, can say that you never really down talk to bash none of them brothers when they was going through. Cause and it's a good thing because now, you, like you said, you got to experience some of them things. And uh, whoo, Lord have mercy. If we could be real and talk on this thing, oh my God, but what? I'm like nothing on real TV has nothing on the Bible, let alone real life Christian life. Ain't got nothing. <laughs> That's all we can do is laugh because your mind to take you through situations and circumstances. The scandals, right. the, the all, I mean, the TV ain't got nothing on a real Christian's life, man. And, and I'm talking about folks who trying to live saved. I mean, because I wasn't trying to live saved, it wouldn't even matter. But I'm talking about right. folks who, who right. love, who, who trying to live saved. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, 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 I tell you, my, my, and let me speak personally. Not, let me not, let me not get all whole aspect of my five. <laughs> but let me say this. My greatest progressions in my life, I'm just speaking about me, have always come after I've gone through a wall and begin to show and prove who I am and my belief by laying my, 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 my weight at the throne, laying my weight on the altar. And then after I go through, he accelerates my progression. And so I mean that this shows the times when I experience exponential growth. When it can, when it comes out of a low, so you know, in a in a weird way, I praise God for the lows because I understand that when the when it's over, I'm going to be in a greater place than I was before it started. So the trust is not in when it's not in God when it's good. The trust is in God continually, and even when it's bad, understanding that He is who He said He is, and He's going to be, 
what he said he was going to be, and he's going to do just what he said he's going to do. And that's when the trust is most important and most imperative. And so, man, I just, I'm not looking forward to the laws. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be candid. Right. But at the same time, I understand the reason for them, mm-hmm. and I praise God for them so that I can't wait to get on the other side. Who you telling, man? That's one thing in maturity, and I ain't gonna keep you too much longer. That in, in our elderly age, older. That's why I told a young guy I was talking to right before I talked to you. He's 26. I said, "Bro, you know what I'm saying? There ain't too much more I can I can tell you." That's why I thank God for people like you who are in my age bracket who can be an example. Cause you know we gave up some things, we we took on some things. You know, and it's a learning process. 880 blind, crippled, or crazy. We're never gonna be in a place where we do not need God, do not need a relationship with Jesus Christ. And, one, you know, like it talks about a person who takes and goes back. There ain't no way in the world. There ain't nothing. I, <laughs> there, there ain't no way, man. That's why I was like, let me call some of my soldiers and just holler. I know they got some. Because when you're going through, nine times ten, they're going through. So right. you, you can call people like, hey, man, what's good? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I thank yeah. God for you. I mean, it's a relationship that was definitely divinely orchestrated. You know, I had a lot of brothers I started out with who now look at me cockeyed, and I don't know what their problem is, because I'm still the same bald-headed dude I was back then. That's one thing I can say about you and say about me. Even even through the process, we still the way we are. You know what I'm saying? We like to have fun. We love, we love Jesus. So let's just keep it 100. Keep loving each other, lifting up the name of Jesus, and we're going to see each other on the other side. I look forward to everything you're doing, because I know the cost of glory, the weight of glory has been heavy. And I thank God we used to lift natural weights, and now we're lifting spiritual weights, and we love lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir, man. Uh, it's been a blessing, man. Uh, uh, I know God has got a great calling on your life, man. I'm excited to see what you do. You're always busy for Jesus, man. You're the busiest dude for Jesus, I know, man. <laughs> and, and and listen, man. You know, I'm I'm always I'm always with you. I'm always beside you. I'm even behind you, pushing when you feel like you can't go no more. And um, I support your ministry completely. Um, you've been a blessing to me and my family. And uh, hey. I'm, I'm, I'll need to support this summer, too, man, with this track program, man, with the Bounce business, too, man. And just a shout-out to the Bounce. I own the company, Bounce Away Columbus, if you guys need any any, any Bounce material. Am I allowed to give a shout-out right now, bro? Man, this is our thing, man. You can do whatever you want. You want to beatbox? You want to sing? Do what you want to do. <laughs> no, I do, I do want to give a shout-out to Bounce Away Columbus. Um, you can like us on Facebook at Bounce Away Columbus, man, or you can... Uh, if you're needing of any party rentals, uh, we do, uh, obviously, we have the bounce inflatable devices. We also uh, do birthday parties. Um, and we're even doing tables and chairs and all the rent. If, if you got if you got a party and you need something set up, give us a call. Uh, the number is 614-837-0201. Again, 614-837-0201. Bounce away Columbus. Uh, like us on Facebook. Facebook or go to our uh, web uh, webpage, uh, www.bouncewaycolumbus.com. Or uh, yeah, send us an uh, email at uh, bounceawaycolumbus.yahoo.com. Oh, hey, yeah. man, it's been all love. Holler next, man. Um, you're the best brother I know, man. You've been a spiritual blessing to me, man. You've been nothing but good to me and my family. We love the dickens out of you, man. And you need anything from Milan Smith, Bounce Away Columbus. Oh, also, I need some young people that want to be involved with this summer track program, man. What's uh, the ages? Uh, start, we got a web page for that, too. Uh, Center City. Champions. Uh, this is the first year we're doing it uh, uh, locally. We're gonna really try and get. And again, it's not gonna just be uh, track athletes. We want all. We want all. You, all you people. We're gonna have a north side location and east side location here at Baldwin Road Junior High School. The north side location in Worthington. So um, they can also reach reach out to me on on the Bounce Away webpage for that, or go to our central uh, center city uh, champions for that as well, man. Most definitely. And um, what, what's the ages for that track thing? Uh, we're going to start off this year, we're going to start off at five, and we're going to go all the way up to uh, 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 adult age. We've got one guy that's 57 years old, wow. and, and right now, uh, the last two years, he was uh, in, the, in the 30 and over group. He was first, I believe, first in the 100 national at the nationals and second in the 200 at the nationals. Ooh. So uh, we take them all ages, man, five, five to 105. If you can run, <laughs> even if you need to run down with a... With a kickstand, we got something for you too. Yeah, we need to hook up because I'm at the gym now. You know, I, I do a little thing in the gym over at Cal Fit, and I want to promote that stuff and also the bouncy thing. I, God was just speaking to me when you was talking about it, man. I always trying to figure out ways to bless people. I want to help you with some promos for that and get that out, you know, more because everybody needs them. And the first thing, working up, working up. So we need to get you out there some more, and uh, I want to do some things to help promote that and push that. We can do everything we can to help each other if we just take the time to do it. And I, God just showed me a few things, but we're going to get together, and I want to. Uh, 
continue to, 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 to for God to pray for you and bless your family and uh, you do the same for us and I love you not like a brother from another mother, but like a brother from Jesus Christ, somebody he put in my life to be a blessing to and for them to bless me. Sir, we love you sincerely. And I tell Devin and Devin Jr. that, that uh, Uncle Milan was on, and uh, and I'm, I'm, it's, it's available for playback, so I'm, I'm going to hit him with it. So, you know, you, you I, ain't nothing else like I said. We know what it is, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right, God bless you, man. Be safe out there. I will. You too, bud. Yep, God bless you.